Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, this is chapter 2, matrices. This is part 2. Okay, our learning standard for this video to determine whether two matrices are equal. Okay, how to determine whether two matrices are equal? So, look at these two matrices. Matrix M, A, B, C, D and matrix N, 1, 2, 3, 4. But I what are the condition that make matrix M equal to matrix N? So it is found that matrix M and matrix N have the same order, which is matrix two by two. And if each corresponding element is equal, which is A equals to one, B equals to two, C equals to three, and D equals to four, then matrix M and matrix N are equal and can be written as m equals to n so m equals to m m equals to n if and only if both the matrices have the same order and each corresponding element is equal so have a look at this example Determine whether each of the following pairs of matrices is equal. Give your reason. A. Matrix A and matrix B, B equals matrix A equals to matrix B because both of the matrices have the same order and each corresponding element is equal. For B, C is not equal to D because both the matrices do not have the same order. The order of C is 1 by 2 while the order of D is 2 by 1. For example C, matrix E is not equal to matrix F because the corresponding elements are different. As you can see, for the first row and second column, for matrix E, this is number 3, and for matrix F, this is negative 7, which is not equal. For D, G equals to H because both of the matrices have the same order and each corresponding element is equal. Okay, for the first row and first column, 0 0.5 is equals to 1 over 2. So, both are uh, equal metric. Example 5. It is given that metric P, so this is metric P, and metric Q, so this is the element of metric Q, determine the values of X, Y, and Z if P equals to Q. So, if the two matrix are equal, then all the elements also equal. So, from here, the x is equal to 5. For the second, first row, second element also the same, also have the same value. So, we can calculate the value of y. And for the Second row, second column, these two also equal, so we can calculate or find the value of Z. Next, okay, this is your homework. Self-practice 2.1c in this uh, exercise, we have you have only two questions. So next, our, learning, uh, our second learning standard is to add and subtract matrices. Okay, basic operation on matrices. How to add and sub subtract matrices? Okay, so observe the spreadsheet above. This uh, spreadsheet shows the sale of fans in Kedai Electric Sinarjaya. The sale of fan in the month of March, April, and May can be represented with metric P, Q, and R respectively. 
So the total sale in March and April can be obtained by adding the metric P and metric Q. That is, how to uh, add this? 16 plus 20 equals to 36. So we just add the same, the, the element of the first row and first row and first column for both matrices. So 18 plus 15 equals to 36. 11 plus 9 equals to 20. Next, I use different colors. Different color of my pen. So 5 for the second row. 5 plus 7 is 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. 4 plus 5 is 9. So next, the difference in sale between April and May also can be determined by performing the subtraction of metric R and metric Q. Okay, so 15 minus 20 equals to negative 5. 21 minus 15 equals to 6. And minus 9 equals to 1. Next, for the second row, 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. 24 minus 12 is equal to 12. And minus 5 is equal to 5. Okay, addition and subtraction of matrices can only be performed on the matrices with the same order. Okay. With the same order only, you can subtract or add. Okay. Each corresponding, corresponding element is added or subtracted to obtain a single matrix with the same order. For matrix A and matrix B, so A plus B is equal to this. A minus B so we just subtract the element of A11 minus B11. So have a look at this example. Determine whether addition and subtraction can be performed on the following pairs of matrices. Give your, give your reason. For the, for the example of A, no. Because metric A and metric B have different order. For the first metric, metric A is 2 by 3 metric. For B is 2 by 2 metric. So the order is not the same. Then uh, we can we can't perform an addition or subtraction addition and subtraction. Okay, for B have a look at this. Uh, this is 1 by 2 metric. And this one also 1 by 2 metric. So yes, because C and D have the same order. For C, this is 2 by 2 metric. This is also 2 by 2 metric. So yes, because E and F have the same order. For question D, this is 2 by 1 metric. And this is 2 by 2 metric. So this is no because metric G and H have different order. So have a look at this example. It is given that metric C and metric D and metric P and metric Q. Calculate C plus D. C plus D uh, can be performed because C and D have, diff uh, have equal uh, order. So this is 2 by 3 metric. The metric D also 2 by 3 metric. So we just add the first row, first column element in metric C to the first row, first column of metric D. So this is the solution for A. So this is the first row, first column 
first row, second column, first row, third column. Do the same thing for the second row. So you will get single metric with answer. So 10 plus 14 is 24 and so on. So for B, B minus Q also can be performed because these two metrics have the same number of order. This is 3 by 3 metric. This is also 3 by 3 metric. So this is the solution. Just uh, subtract the first element, uh, first row, first column element and metric P and first, col first row, first column element in metric Q. Just uh, subtract these two elements. So you'll get negative 20. Do the same thing with every single, uh, every element in this two metric. And this is your answer. Okay, next. Example 8. Given that metric D, uh, this is metric D and metric E, and D plus E is this. Calculate the value of X and Y. So, to calculate this, given that D plus E, a metric D plus metric E is this, and then this is metric D plus metric E. So, the first row, first row, first column plus with first row, first column of metric E. So, 2x minus 1 plus 6. 2x minus 1 plus x. So, this is for the first element. x. 2x minus 1 plus x equals to 3x minus 1. So, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 12 plus, 5, uh, plus 7 is negative 5. 5 plus y plus y equals to 5 plus 2y. So, this is a single metric. So, we just take the first row, first element equals to this. So, you can get the value of x and the value of y. Okay, given that 3f plus this metric minus this metric equals to negative 2, uh, negative 2 and 3, this metric. Calculate the metric f. So, first write the equation. Next, this is a plus plus. So, we transfer to this side, it becomes minus. And the minus become plus. So you just uh, solve as usual negative 2 minus 16 plus 7. You will get negative 11. Next, 3 minus negative 3. Plus 10 equals to 16. Okay, have a look at example 10. The table on the right shows the stock records of from four textbooks of science, mathematics, and economy in SMK Taman Surya. Calculate the closing stock of each type of textbook. So, this is the data. Closing stock is the opening stock as new, bo new books received minus loss and damage, loss and damage book. So this is the opening stock for sign, mathematic, mathematic and economy plus new received book. For science, mathematics, and economy, minus the loss and damage book. So, 
326 plus 56 minus 32 equals to 350. Okay, next. 335 for mathematic book plus 47 minus 26 equals to 356 and for economy book opening stock 82 plus new book received 15 minus loss and damage book 11 equals to 86 hence the closing stock for science Mathematics and economy textbook are 350, 356, and 86 respectively. So this is your homework, so this 2.2a. Uh, this is only 7 questions. Question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So thank you, that's all for this video. See you in the next video.